Monalee. I am Monalee. Welcome back to my channel. This is a new series that I'm starting. Uh, it's called Meaning Behind the Music. And I used to uh, really like to do things like this when I was on the radio. I would go to concerts and I would interview bands either backstage or on the tour bus. And then I would really dig into why they wrote certain songs, why, you know, um, what was their inspiration behind certain songs. I just really enjoyed hearing the artists, uh, their talent, like how the process behind it, I guess, if you will. And so I decided to bring that into my channel and I thought that would be kind of a kind of a side thing series to go along with my reactions. And so the first song I want to do is Led Zeppelin, uh, Immigrant Song. And I think it's because I was always weird, not weirded out, but like curious about the title and like, why did they write this? It's such a um, epic style song you know like eh, almost like a, a greek mythology kind of sound like story behind it i don't know it's strange and i always thought where did this come from and um so of course i did not interview led zeppelin although i do have a story about that when i am from savannah georgia and um when i was living there and in college I was working at a cafe downtown, and downtown Savannah is during we we have the music festival, we have the film festival, and those are big deals. Like there's famous people that come for those, and they are very because we have SCAD there, the Savannah College of Art and Design, which is one of the biggest, most prestigious art schools, and so we do get a lot of celebrities during those times. And if you work in the service industry in Savannah, then you know that you do not. Um, do not uh, go all fangirl on celebrities if they come into your restaurant or bar. You just let them be and you serve them like you would anyone else because that's what they want. You don't make this huge hoopla over it. Um, the only hoopla I ever saw was when I was at a karaoke bar and Stan Lee was there and everybody was just staring at him. But anyway, so I was working at this cafe and we had been, it was a pretty slow time. It was probably like two o'clock in the afternoon. So after lunch, before dinner, and I'm just sitting, standing at the counter waiting and I see this guy come in and he has on jeans and some alligator dress shoes and a blazer. And I was like, that has to be Robert Plant. It has to be. It looks just like him. And he had this like very young woman with him. And he walks up and he orders his coffee. And he orders his, um, I don't even remember what he ordered now. You'd think I'd remember. But I think I was just kind of like starstruck. And um, he comes up and he orders. And I say, I'm sorry. I have to ask. Are you Robert Plant? And he said, as a matter of fact, I am. And I was like, <gasps> And I said, okay, thank you. I'll be right out with your order. And when I told my mom that, she was like, what did you propose to him for me? Did you get his autograph for me? I was like, no, because that is a big faux pas in Savannah. You can't do it. Well, he ended up coming in like two or three more times that week during the music fest. And I just let him be. And it was what it was. But there he was. Ah! So anyway, immigrant song. So I was doing research on this and finding interviews with Robert Plant and uh, from back then, from now, where this came from. And here's what I found. So um, when they say, come from the land of ice and snow, I know I sound just like him. The land of ice and snow is Iceland. And so Led Zeppelin played there in the summer of 1970, June to be exact. And Robert Plant, who is the lead singer of Led Zeppelin, if you don't know that, what is wrong with you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, he said that the band, they were guests of the Icelandic government, and he called the trip a cultural mission. Don't know what was going on there in the 1970s. That's something else I should look up, I guess. But he called it a cultural mission. They were invited there by the government. And uh, the day before they arrived, all the civil servants in this part of Iceland where they were going went on strike, all of them, and the concert was going to be canceled. And so Led Zeppelin was really upset about this. They really wanted to play there. The government was upset about this. So the university actually all came together. The university students made this happen. And they opened up one of their big concert halls for this concert. And so the band was a little bit like, you know, how's this going to work? But Robert Plant said that the response was absolutely phenomenal. He said the students were amazing. The university was amazing. And it was just brilliant. And so he said because of that, immigrant song was was written about that trip to Iceland and then you think well how like what is, how what does that mean like if you listen to the lyrics you're like how does that tie into the university how does that tie into Iceland well uh the lyrics uh the hammer of the gods will drive our ships to new lands 
So Robert Plant is really into history and he likes things like Marco Polo and these explorers. And so he was relating their adventures, their trips, things like that. He was relating it to the Vikings, the Vikings going to these unknown territories. So uh, he actually wrote it to be a little bit comical, he said. It wasn't supposed to be taken seriously, but because they are not a comical band, everyone took it seriously, obviously. The, it was very, you know, yeah, a song instead of a, oh, ha, ha, I get that. And um, also, the hammer of the gods will drive our ships to new lands, that lyric. Um, it has fans now referring to Led Zeppelin's sound as the hammer of the gods. So if you've heard that term referred, or if you've heard Led Zeppelin uh, referred to as the hammer of the gods, their sound, it's because of this song and it's because, you know, of those lyrics. You've heard it in uh, Thor, right? Like it came out and they're fighting. And, blah, 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 blah. and um, so there's even a book about the band. If you've seen, I'm sure there's plenty of books about the band, but there's a book about the band by Stephen Davis and it's actually called The Hammer of the Gods. So this has become one of their biggest songs, even though it was supposed to be comical, which I think is, um, is pretty funny, ironic, I guess. And so I have some fun facts about um, this song that I want to add. And that is, if you remember the hiss, I'm not playing any of this because you know it's gonna get copyrighted and I don't want it to get taken down. But the hiss at the beginning of the song, if people hear that, it's actually from the echo unit that was used and it's very much intentional. They wanted that there. And Jack Black begged Led Zeppelin in front of a huge audience, he begged them to be granted permission to use this song in School of Rock. And I believe it's when he's in his van and he's listening to it and singing to it. Anyway, uh, they were so amused by that that they granted him permission. And he said, there is a lesson in this, folks, kids, and that is never be too proud to beg. <laughs> and Led Zeppelin opened with this song. This that was supposed to be comical. It wasn't even supposed to be like this mega hit that it was. Uh, they opened with this song and at all their live performances between 1970 and 1972. This was the opener. Everyone knew it as soon as they came out, which you would think now like this would be like the encore, the closer, right? But no, as soon as they came out, it... so um, I think that would be just amazing to see. And last fun fact, this is my favorite Led Zeppelin song. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last fun fact um so yeah i hope you like this series let me know if you did in the comments below um i will make it more hopefully more polished and refined as i go but i just wanted to get it out there and if you have a song that you think i should do uh for this meaning behind the music let me know in the comments and i will gladly do it um i am going to continue with my uh regularly scheduled requests and yeah, hit like, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Music with Molly. Cheers.